Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the different strategies that can be used to reduce the risk of desertification. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. There are several different ways to reduce the risk of desertification in semi-arid areas such as the Sahel in Northern Africa. The first strategy that we're going to have a look at is afforestation. Afforestation is simply planting trees and it is a good strategy to reduce the risk of desertification as tree roots bind the soil together and the leaves provide shade to stop the ground drying out as well as providing leaf litter for nutrient cycling. The Great Green Wall is an African-led project with an epic ambition to go 8,000 kilometres as a natural wonder of the world across the entire width of Africa. Its goal is to provide food, jobs and a future for millions of people who live in a region on the front line of climate change. Once completed, the Great Green Wall will be the largest living structure on Earth and a new wonder of the world. The Great Green Wall is an example of an initiative where countries are working in partnership with one another. Eleven countries signed an agreement in 2010 to begin planting this wall. The plan is to plant a 15 kilometre wide strip of land with trees and shrubs across the entire width of Africa. It is hoped that the wall of vegetation will prevent further soil erosion from the Sahel and improve incomes. However, the wall hasn't been entirely successful as in some areas local people have used the newly planted trees for building materials and firewood and it will only be an effective way of stopping the Sahara Desert encroaching the Sahel if all countries maintain their tree cover. As well as afforestation, there are many water and soil management techniques that can be used. These are usually small scale and use appropriate technology. They use methods and materials that don't cost much money and are easy to maintain. This is really important for the communities in developing nations who are the most likely to be affected by desertification. So let's have a look at a few of these solutions. A really common solution to desertification is the use of buns, which are also known as magic stones. In some parts of the Sahel, such as Burkina Faso, local communities have constructed low lines of stones known as buns or magic stones along contour lines. These low stone walls are between 0.5 and 1.5 metres high and they've been built by local people using basic tools and trucks to transport the stones. These contour traps prevent soil and water being washed down the slope during heavy rainfall. This means that more water infiltrates the soil and less is lost through runoff. This has helped increase crop yield by up to 50% and it also reduces the risk of desertification significantly. Another strategy to reduce the risk of desertification is the use of sand dams. These have been used by some communities in countries such as Kenya. There are three stages to this strategy. Firstly, a sand dam has to be built. This is done by building a dam across an ephemeral river, which causes sand to be deposited behind it. An ephemeral river is one that is most often dry, but flows for brief periods after rainfall. When the river has water in it, the sand becomes saturated and people can dig down into the sand to find water for several months after the river has stopped flowing. Secondly, Fields surrounding the river will be terraced with steps built into the land, meaning that the soil won't wash away when it rains and water will soak into the ground instead. These work like the buns described a moment ago and are pictured on the screen. Thirdly, local communities will plant trees so tree roots can hold the soil together and keep water in the ecosystem. They will usually choose fruit trees which can provide food or trees that have bark that's useful for medicines. There are also some much smaller scale solutions that can be used. One example is drip irrigation. This is where water drips slowly onto the ground from pin sized holes in a hose lying on top of the soil. This minimises water loss through evaporation, so it's really effective in places where the temperatures are high. It also uses simple technology, so it's cheap and easy to maintain. It is a good example of appropriate technology. 
And our final small scale solution is using fuel efficient stoves. Fuel efficient stoves use significantly less firewood than traditional stoves and are well insulated so stay hot for much longer. This means that people don't need to cut down so many trees which leaves trees in place with roots to hold the soil together. Small scale solutions are an effective way of reducing the risk of desertification as they are relatively cheap and easy to set up and maintain. But also ownership lies within the local community and they take control rather than having large scale inappropriate solutions forced upon them, meaning that they are much more likely to be successful. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the different strategies that can be used to reduce the risk of desertification. Thank you for watching.